Okay, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to model the default cube in Blender into a high heel shoe. Okay, so I also want to share with you some of the tricks that I do in Blender to make you a much more efficient uh, modeler. Okay, so uh, first of all, let me just start by resetting the scene. Okay, so normally when you start Blender, you'll see the default cube uh, sitting in the center like this. But in my default file, you notice that under here, under the modifiers, I've already added a uh, mirror modifier uh, in x-axis with do clipping. But if you study this uh, cube closer, you'll notice that I already uh, chopped it into half and uh, mirrored it. So what I've basically done is this. Let me just uh, reset this again. Change to a new uh, file. I'm going to get rid of the default cube. So normally, when most of you guys start Blender, this is what you'll get. The top orthographic view with the cube. But this cube doesn't have any mirror modifiers applied. And also, it is not subdivided into uh, two halves. So what I did was, uh, starting from the default cube, uh, you go to edit mode and you press Control R and I'm going to split it into half. And then I will just uh, press my box select, press B, left mouse click and drag, so delete away half of it. And then I apply my modifier, the mirror modifier. So by default it's under the X axis and I'll turn on the do clipping. So by now you should know if I turn on do clipping, if I grab this half, uh, the center will always be stuck together. And then I change it back to my top view. And I what I did was, okay, let me uh, position this everything neatly first. Then I will save this as a default settings. So every time you run Blender, you will already have a cube, already have the mirror uh, applied, and already split into half. Now why do I do this? Because um, I don't want to always start Blender and then do all these steps all over again. So if I have all this already done, it already saved me a number of steps. Okay, so let's get started by modeling the high heel shoe. Now, before you all start any uh, modeling, it's always a good idea to either sketch out your model or at least find a uh, good reference uh, photo. Now, in this case, I found a very good photo on the internet. So let me just split this first. Split the view here first. We'll just right mouse click here and uh, split this. And I'm going to change this into the UV image editor. I'm going to click on image, open and I'm going to navigate to the folder containing my uh, image reference right over here so you just move your cursor over it, middle mouse click and it will load so I found this uh, image on Google and then with this image right this will act as my reference to model my high heel so I'll just put this aside and I'll come and refer to it when I need to alright so you can zoom in and zoom out in the image editor by rolling up your mouse wheel alright okay so let's start by uh, going to edit mode okay since I already split this into half and mirrored it I'm gonna first scale it in the y-axis slightly like this then I'm gonna press ctrl R to bring up my loop cut and roll it up once so that it cuts into two cuts like this okay next thing I want to do is uh, I want to grab the this face here right mouse click select this and then just pull it out like this and this face, I'll just pull it down like that. All right. So the next thing I want to do is I want to just uh, select this face and just pull it back inwards like this, and switch to edge mode. Grab this edge, just push it in just like this. And very quickly, you can see the high heel shoe is the basic shape is coming out really, really soon. And uh, now I'm just going to navigate to the bottom face here, switch over to face mode, pressing control tab, go to face mode, right mouse click and select this face, press E to extrude, and then just pull out the heel. Okay, so now, right now, I'm going to go to the side view, the heel will look a little bit large, but that's not a problem. Okay, I'm going to just move it down until it's aligned uh, to the front edge here. So I'm just going to press S to scale it down, and then pull it back a little bit. Okay. And uh, next thing I want to do is we can actually apply a subsurf modifier. So again, my favorite method of applying subsurf modifier is to press the shortcut Control Three, or you can just apply add the modifier here subsurf. Okay, so I'm going to use my shortcut key Control Three, so it is subsurf look like this. And then 
uh, right under the buttons panel under the links and materials I'm gonna say click on this set smooth okay so there are a couple of ways to set smooth if you're in edit mode make sure you select all the faces and then you press W and then under the specials there's a set smooth and set solid make sure it's not smooth that you select but under set smooth okay so set smooth actually change the look of the faces whereas smooth actually modifies the geometry right so once I've done that uh, right now I'm in edit mode so um, I'm just gonna modify this uh, mesh a little bit more okay so now what I'm gonna do is I wanna delete these top faces press X to delete and you will have the opening of your high heel shoe I'll switch to the vertices and you will pull this up slightly okay I wanna add some slight definition around this edge here so I just pre press control R around the edge here, left mouse click and then just uh, move the edge all the way up here okay, I want to have a gradual uh, edge that transit down to a narrow uh, tip here so I'm going to switch over to edge mode and edge mode and right mouse click select this edge and just going to pull it back up right here Okay, and then uh, in order to get rid of this rounded uh, look I'm going to add another edge loop right close to here so you press Control R, left mouse click, and then drag it down as close as possible. So you want to make the key a little bit narrow. I'm going to switch over to the face mode, grab this face, and then just push it in. And let's say we want a gradual taper. I'm just going to add another edge loop right about around here. Switch to edge mode, grab this edge, and then just push it in. Okay, if you want, you can pull this up to get this gradual look. All right, and uh, I think. The heel looks pretty good. Maybe this vertex, I just want to bring it up as well. This one as well. Okay. So now, let's just uh, make this a little bit more defined. Like the front part of the uh, the, the ball area here. I'm going to select the face. And I'm going to press E to extrude, uh, extrude another small face out. Just a tiny little bit. And then I just press S to scale it in slightly. So it's got a slight bevel. And you can see very quickly the basic shape of the high heel is ready up. Now let's take a look at our reference again. Now in this reference, you can see the high heel is set extremely high. So we're going to follow this exaggeration and then we're going to switch to vertex mode. Press A to deselect all the vertices first. Press B and then I'm going to grab this group of vertices here. And I'm just going to push it right up. And now you can see this shoe is starting to look a little bit like this one and uh, maybe perhaps I just want to make the heel a little bit more pronounced in the tapering so I'm just going to grab this and then just pull it back right about here so I want to tumble around and take a look at my handiwork okay so I'm happy with this and uh, next thing you want to do is just want to add a couple of uh, edge loops around this side notice that these are four sided faces so if I press ctrl R to use the edge loop cut okay let me just uh, hide this by joining to here first and I'm gonna make this uh, a full screen so that you guys can see better so I'm gonna press control up cursor arrow and uh, okay so I just press control R I'm gonna move the cursor here and I just want to add one edge loop around here okay, let me switch to the side view I'm gonna give this tip here around the edge press A to deselect the vertices press B box select that mouse click and drag and then just pull it out like this and then for this one I can click this point and then pull it out and you can see with minimal okay here you can see the shoe uh, is a little bit wide so I just want to add one edge loop that runs around here control R uh, minimal click right about the center here and I'm just going to manually pull this in using the transform arrow okay and uh, maybe perhaps I want to add one more edge loop right here press ctrl R middle mouse click so I can just push this in slightly select this vertex push it in okay if you go to the top view you notice that the heel area here is a little bit boxy so go to the top view press A a couple of times to deselect and select so you won't accidentally select points at the bottom so I'm just gonna select this corner and then just push it in so now it's got a nice rounded 
uh, edge and here it, it does look a little bit white so I'm going to press A 